hypocrisy, Orwellian newspeak. I mean, this it's, it is getting to the point where I don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, look at this story in uh, Breitbart.com. Top executives of 180 companies, abortion necessary to be successful in business. Top executives of more than 180 companies have signed a letter that says abortion is essential in order for people to be successful in their businesses. So uh, who can get an abortion? Well, unless you're, you know, a trans man. Men, biological males cannot get abortions. Yet, listen, what are the words they write? Quote, when everyone is empowered to succeed... Our companies, our communities, and our economy are better for it. Well, yeah, sure. This is what the executives wrote in this letter in a uh, newly launched website called, and here's Orwell coming at you. <laughs> God, like a tsunami. Don't ban equality. Now, excuse me, how can you ban something that doesn't exist? Men have no reproductive rights in this country. Zero. You either have sex or you don't. That's it. And then you have no say if there's a baby involved, okay? Uh, certainly not equal to all the options females have with respect to not only birth control, but adoption, abortion, all the other things, right? Where's the equality would be my first question. If it's not there, how do you remove it? How do you ban equality when there's a great inequality between the sexes with respect to this topic? Quote, restricting access to comprehensive reproductive care, including abortion, threatens the health, independence, and economic stability of our employees and customers. Ah, just the females, though. We, we don't care about the men. What about the men who are forced to become a father? They had sex with someone. Unfortunately, she gets pregnant. Well, he has no say then, does he? He can be forced legally by the fucking government to become a father, whether he wants to be or not. But she does not have to become a mother. So I don't think... Uh, I don't think there's any equality here that we're trying to ban since it doesn't exist. And it's interesting, it seems, these companies don't really give a fuck about their male employees or customers. Because what about men's rights? What about men and their lives affected by having to pay child support or become a father if they don't want to, the stress of it all? And, and <laughs> they, uh, they shouldn't have had sex, right? Simply put, it goes against our values and is bad for business. It impairs our ability to build diverse and inclusive workforce pipelines. Oh my God, buzzword bingo people. Recruit top talent across the states and protect the well-being of all the people who keep our businesses thriving day in and out. Excuse me, uh, this is only the females. Do you not understand this? Don't ban equality. It's time for companies to stand up for reproductive health care. Yes, I'm all for that. For men, right? They cannot be forced forevermore now and for the future not become a no. no. Oh, no, 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 no. You have sex. She gets pregnant. Fuck you. Pay up. But, but my, re I don't care. You, you're, you're oppressing women with all of these reproductive rights you have and you're trying to ban equality. What? What is this? Ben and Jerry said, don't ban equality. Hard to ban something that doesn't exist, isn't it? It's time for companies to stand up for reproductive health care. We're joining all these other people to stand against the hinder people's health. <laughs> so on one hand, they say, yeah, it's essential that all the, uh, all the people that work for us and our customers didn't have the, all the opportunity to succeed. Uh, unless you're a man, then you can go fuck yourself. But if you do get her pregnant, sorry, uh, you have no rights. But go ahead and keep telling us that women are somehow oppressed with respect to their reproductive health care. Link below. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.